Hi, I'm Planix PPK user. We added a new processing mode called PPRTX, post-processed RTX, and I will guide you through today. PPRTX allows processing without loading a base station. The service is available worldwide. Let's get the rover data loaded. Down here you can see processing mode is PPRTX, and there's a little explanation down there and the link to so-called fast and standard regions. The service is segmented into standard region and fast regions. The quick convergence time in fast regions allows processing of data from 10 minutes to several hours duration at 3 cm horizontal and 6 cm vertical error. Data sets from 30 minutes up to several hours can be processed for the rest of the world at the same performance. The regions you have seen here from this link are fast regions. Let's get to the photo ID file generation. We've got to load the event file, which contains the trigger time of the images. We select the appropriate column here, proceed, and load all the images that belong to the mission. Make sure that the active events are matching the active images. And the event file gets created by the web app. We're then ready to submit the project, assuming your email address is correct here. And eventually your data or solution is going to be sent to your email address or better said, you're going to get a link from where you can download the data. So the project has been created and under your account, you can see the status of your latest project, but you can also download previous projects that you have processed already in the web app. After a few minutes, you will be getting an email with the download link of your data. Click on this one, there's a zip file delivered, which you can extract. You get all the files that you need. Uh, please refer to the What is a Planix PPK video to learn more about the files that are delivered here. Thank you very much for your attention. Let us know if you have questions.